ain't going back. Now I'm gonna buy into all that. Hey, hey, ain't gonna hide. Gonna let all the fears lie. Got mother nature is on my side. Got all of the love and all right. Hello, everyone. I'm here with Campbell from Under the Didactic, Lorenzo from The New Now. And I had the privilege a day ago to have a long talk with Brent Davis from Flora Live. We discussed his revival and his Abundant Life program, his flower, full flower essences that can help bring you to the kind of life you would like to live. And the reason Campbell and I are here is our event coming up October 6th, 7th, and 8th, Practical Evolution for Life. It's all about bringing yourself to the kind of life you would like to live. And a lot of us have been blocked. A lot of us have had some challenges. A lot of us could use a bit of aid or a little bit of a vibrational attunement. You know, Campbell has some tuning forks. We'll leave some links below he's working with. And him and I have had the privilege of trying some of Brent's products already. Uh, the uh, uh, healing support and the blue-eyed grass, which I can honestly say has helped me with a bit of a different vibrational attunement that's allowed me to see some of the places I need to work on to get myself to a better life. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I've, I'm, I've been taking them as well, and I've only sort of for like a week, maybe a bit more. And yeah, I've, I've definitely felt something different as well, and I'm remembering my dreams more, which is the blue-eyed grass. But, you know, basically, as you know, guys, everything's energy. Um, you know, I've done lots and lots of videos on this. Everything is energy, and everything starts in the energy field, and then it, it manifests into the physical. This is how we create our lives, right? Good or bad. And so these flower essences, that they're not tinctures they're not that there's nothing taken from the plant it's not an essence or anything like that it's the vibration it's the frequency that is um you know taken from them that is um mimicked i guess into the water just like the work of dr omoto he, he's the, the water is charged with with a certain frequency we take that into our body where of course you know at least 60 percent water 80%. it changes our structure 80 percent yeah um and basically this it creates change it, it changes your energy field which then moves into the physical and um yeah it, this is how they work frequency yeah. yeah everybody knows if you have a good healthy meal you feel good and vibrant afterwards if you eat junk food you feel junky afterwards if you let in lou lousy emotions you have an argument or you get stressed you feel stressed and low energy afterwards and if you let in beautiful sunshine and a happy laughter of children and in nature, you feel good afterwards. So that is basically what we're talking about and sharing is that the vibration you allow in will change you and will give you a different way to see and perceive. So I'm going to share a screen now and show you some of the products we're talking about. And, you know, we can just take a little bit from there. So there's Campbell. Here we are. Here's the Revive All. So Brent recommends this one first because it gives you some emotional uplifting. It clears you and it gets you ready for his four bottle abundant life program. So there's five bottles in all and you put them together and, you know, Brent's going to talk about it afterwards. We did a nice uh, conversation. So we'll chat about that. But essentially for a small investment, I think it works out to a few hundred bucks for everything. You know, instead of going, you know, to uh, psychological training or trauma counseling or all of this stuff for a few hundred bucks, you can basically get into your body what you need and figure things out for yourself directly yeah indeed and of course this is um a product that we you know believe in that's why we're promoting it that's why we're, we've sort of joined up with brent to, to get this out there too it is something different it's definitely you know 5d new earth whatever you want to call it this is you know uh, um i don't want to call it a medicine but this is a health tonic for the future and we've all seen what you know what big pharma and the medical industry are offering us and seriously, you go and see a doctor, I mean, you know, if you're lucky, your, your country pays for most of the bill, but it's a couple of hundred bucks just to talk to them. You don't get anything from it. No. Um, and if you do, it's just more problems. So, um, you know, what's your investment? You know, how much are you prepared to invest in your life, especially if you have, you know, issues that you, that you need sorted? Because to me, that's the best investment. It's always the best investment is to invest in you, you know, your health and your future. Yeah, so the first one, you can see where you're blocked. Here it is, the Revival. He suggests you start with that one. Then you move to the Abundant Life 1, which helps you to see where you're still feeling bad, where you've been abused, where you need to uh, you know, get rid of whatever it is that's stopping you from moving along. Procrastination is a good one. I know I've had that problem in my life for a long time. You know, why you're angry, you know, and uh, you know why you feel hurt and how you can get over that. And then I'll move on to the abundant life, which is to enable forgiveness, which is interesting. So they're all connected. Brent has spent 
30 years putting all of this together, traveling the world, and they all have multiple flowers inside. What they're working with, this one has hydrangea, herb of the cross, dogwood, and green jade flower, which, you know, I haven't seen them all in my life, but it sounds very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we all have blockages, we all have trauma, and these things um, stop us living our, our full potential, our, you know, the life that we want to live. And they are all held in the energy field. So the way to release them is to change the energy, change the frequency. And that's, of course, what these do. Yeah. So this one is connect with source, number three. And the fourth one is great. It's to uh, make sure that you don't have any weird parasitical fourth or fifth dimensional entities, which I feel we all have interfering with you, even if it's just between your two ears. So to allow you to notice sometimes and even often those negative voices are not yours. They could be habit. They could come from somewhere else. They're certainly not there to benefit you or to give you a beautiful life. So when you start to notice the difference between what's you, what's not you and where you would like to go, well, from there, you can grow and become the wonderful person you've always wanted to become. Indeed. Yep. Yeah, we all need a bit of help along the way. Um, you know, we've all been programmed in certain ways. So check out the links below, guys, um, and, and give it a go. Uh, like we said, we've both been on it, Lorenzo, for a couple of months now, I think. Uh, me a bit shorter, but I'll keep you updated. We'll keep you updated on, on you know, how they're affecting us. But like I said, I've definitely felt a difference and I'm someone who doesn't remember my dreams very often and um yeah now now I'm, I'm pretty much remembering stuff every day so um, i'm definitely getting you know beneficial effects so if you want to check it out links below and also we did have a longer chat with brent a few weeks ago and you'll find the link for that video below as well yeah so stay tuned there's about uh 30 minutes coming where brent will describe everything in much more detail being the inventor we hope to see you at our event as well october 6th 7th and 8th enjoy the flower essences and well, we'll see you on the next upload. Thanks for everyone for being here. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> and Buster the Cat also says goodbye. All right. Cheers, everyone. Uh, stay tuned for the rest, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the new now. I'm here once again with Brent Davis. We're going to continue our Flora Live discussions. And today we're going to go into something that I've been interested in hearing about since he first mentioned it to me, the Abundant Life Program and how it's related to the Flora Live Full Flower Spectrum Essences. Hello, Brent. Hi. Good to be here, Lorenzo. Yeah. So, so maybe, yeah, there's a bit can... of a story how that happened. The the book, the Floral Hand of God book, describes how this whole thing took place, and that is available on floralife.com website. And I love people to look at that um, because it, it, it really uh, took two years to write. There's a huge amount of information, but it really gives a deep and in, in-depth understanding of why these are profoundly important now that we need to take our sovereignty seriously more more than ever since there's a world dedicated to removing our sovereignty so these flowers were created 20 years before this craziness started and it's interesting that whoever was responsible on the higher dimensions kind of saw this whole thing coming right so that's an introduction so the flowers were brought to me and given to me through extraordinary life experiences that can only be described in the book because they're all different but how each set of flowers were given so that in order to understand how to unlock people's blocked lives so whether it's if you believe in transgenerational inheritance from judeo-christian tradition or in karma it doesn't matter where you look or in Jungian uh, situation uh or if you look at the collective unconscious of Carl Jung, no matter where you look, there is stuff going on within us that's not from our present moment circumstance. It's coming from somewhere. Collective unconscious karma, transgenerational, whatever you want to call it. It is a bunch of stuff. And what the Floralife founders, the, the, the higher order beings that figured this thing out, saw that certain frequencies could be transferred into flowers and then tap me on the shoulder and, and push me to go and find that flower. That's what happened. And that's happened over 15 years. So the first flowers that I found or were given to me, I had no idea what they were going to do. I just had to go out and on faith prepare them. And unfortunately, I've had a very active practice since 1978. So 
when I made something that was like, I didn't know what it was good for. Within a week or two of my practice, having been trained in energy psychology, I could very quickly find out what the flower did. That, that's that's huge. You, you can go out and make a beautiful flower, but if you don't know how to apply it, it doesn't do any good. So these, I'm looking at a, a sheet, which I'll bring up on, on screen in a moment, that describes about 35 flowers that were put together in five products called the Abundant Life Program. That developed after about six years. So we started selling these in around 2000. And I think that Abundant Life Program came out about 2005 or six, after many years of watching what groups of flowers were used on patients and in what order. So that was why it was created Revival. Is this start? Let me, let me do a screen share and bring that up. I'm just going to let show that here for a moment. Oops. Can you see this? Um, can you yeah. see this? All right. So these are the products. Revival and the flowers that are in it. Abundant Life Program, Abundant Life 2, Abundant Life 3, and Abundant Life 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 6, 27, 28. 28 flowers, which are profoundly important, and they were used a lot in the first years. And I can explain why. So Revival, if you look at that, has these six extraordinary flowers. Four of them come from the floralized forest, which we talk, we'll be talking about more, is going to be, is being developed into an intentional community where people can live on this 160 acres this forest. Okay. It's the open field. And in that, we have tulip poplar, wild iris, blue water lily, and mayapple. Four of those come from that area. This comes from far eastern Canada, when I went on a trip up and way up north Canada, this beautiful lady slipper and the Makilina, the red flower, was 15,000 feet at a glacial lake in Peru, which I was guided to by a crazy experience. So all of these things, um, yeah, it's just, it, it, there's a process of making the flower, I think. but then there's the energy of what happened and the timing of how I found a flower, and that can never be duplicated. No one could ever copy this. Because, for example, for that lady slipper, one of my uh, accounts in Canada, who was a great healer and used the full life flower, she loved him, and she wanted me to do a workshop in New Brunswick or up in that area. So, she arranged for, out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, we're talking wild. She got 35 people together for, for I've still never had a workshop like that. It was amazing. They were all psychics <laughs> in far northern Canada where she found these people. But there was this amazing group of people. And one of the people was a naturalist, and he was a professor of botany. And she told him about this, and he became enthralled. And then, this is what I always do. I spoke to him. He said, how can I help you? And I said, I want you to tell me about the location where pink lady slipper grows. That's the most, most beautiful location you've ever seen in your life. And he's a field botanist, so he's been all over northern Canada. And that's how it happened. This amazing guy thought about it, and he said, I know where to take you. I'm going to take you to the most beautiful place where this flower grows. That's what I got. And that happens, has happened 50 times, 100 times. It's happened so many times. So uh, what these things do, uh, can you see this or am I going to have to? I think no, I, I can see it. So you're, you're, you're recommending the Revival as, as a starting point for the Abundant Life yeah. Program. So Revival, now you can see this again, I think, right? Yep. So Makilina removes the belief that no matter what I do, I cannot influence the outcome. Gotcha. And no matter what action I take, I will be defeated. That is resident in many people in the unconscious mind. When I would evaluate patients and then tell them what I found, they would almost always look at me and say, no, I don't believe that. I mean, look at me. I've, de I've been dedicating my life to consciousness. And then I look at them and I go, 
yeah, I know, that's what you've been doing consciously. <laughs> but in your unconscious, that's still residing there, or the flower wouldn't have come up. And when we do the test phrases, regardless of my life, I cannot influence the outcome. I'm trained in advanced training and applied kinesiology. You do it properly. You can find out neurologically if that's true. And if you do it correctly, it's extremely accurate. So I would, all of these things were tested clinically. They may have been through inspiration, but they were always proven clinically. And they've been proven clinically by dozens and dozens of highly trained international college of applied kinesiology, applied kinesiologists, chiropractors, physicians. And they have gone on over the many years, especially in those first four or five years, validating these things. Wild iris. So in um, energy psychology, language is very important. And the permanence of the language is very important. The definiteness. So look at the language. When you say revival, it says no matter what action I take. No matter what you do. No matter. I will be defeated. Or regardless of my efforts, I cannot influence the outcome. That is, that's a killing, deadening energy. It will stop us from progressing if it's there. What's the next one? Wild iris. I am disconnected from the source of, and then look at, all is cap. All life. What would happen if your unconscious mind was playing that message 24 hours a day? That you're disconnected from the source of all life. That's about as bad as it could get. And I'm essentially unlovable. Holy God. So when you look at someone that comes in and they tell you, because I always t- would take complete histories, you know what, I have trouble with relationships. And you call and you find that, you go, well, if, you're broad- if your unconscious mind is, is broadcasting the belief that you're essentially unlovable, you're going to have problems with relationships. Okay? To look popular, my self-esteem is strong and balanced. That tree grows across from my house on the farm. We're on the edge of the forest. It's huge to the poplar tree. And we have a, we, we connect all the time. Every time I open my windows, I'm looking at that to the poplar tree. That thing is, I've never, heart, I don't know if I could say ever, seen anyone that it doesn't change their self-esteem. If their self-esteem is not strong, they take that, it changes it. And you can see it in their face. I've, I've got many pictures of patients that are, um, that's on our um, photos of change. That's in the resources section at the bottom of the floorlive.com yeah. website. You must go see photos of change. Then I'll, you can I'll, see- I'll leave the links below. We did a, a video yeah. with, with Brent previously where he showed some of these pictures. So we'll leave the yeah, links below this video. Yeah. Blue eyed grass, one of the most important things you can ever take because it gets rid of emotional and trauma and abuse, which is there in everyone from either this lifetime or some, some other time. It's there. It's just there in most people. Now, when I test people, Especially if I get people that have said, well, you know, I've been doing meditation and stuff for 20 years. And I, don't, I want to represent this accurately. Sometimes people come in and I only find a flower or two because they have cleared a lot of this stuff. They don't have any of that. And that is wonderful when I can do my assessment and report, you know what? I don't, I don't find that you need any of these flowers. Mm. That's pretty cool. That, that means you've taken care of these buried unconscious beliefs, and they're not there anymore. Mm. But I'm going to go look for, then I pull out my advanced level flowers, which are not on the site. I use those for private uh, formulation. And I have 20 or 30 more flowers that are more about, they will come out eventually, because their time is coming up. It's for ascension. These later flowers that I develop don't deal with these basic dysfunctions. They're beyond that. So when you've cleared the basic dysfunction, they're more about enlightenment and empowerment. But you've got to clear the basic stuff first. May apple. I lose my power when others don't listen to me. It's about in, being introverted and being shut down. And pink lady slipper, I trust in life. So that together, even only one of those, if you put those six things together, it's a life changer for many people. Okay, that's number one. So then the abundant life won. So remember we said we have to heal emotional trauma and abuse. That's step one. Then we have to enable receiving. So that's abundant life one. That goes to the second part of the triangle, which is on halfway down the home page. It has that 
triangle which is a very important model that I'd like people to understand. So now it's about receiving. I'm filled with allowance. I allow myself to receive love. So Flor de la Luna was the first flower that a shaman showed me in Peru. There's a whole chapter in my book that describes the insane efforts that it took to get to uh, an ensconced hidden area that is, will always be, I never mentioned where it is because it's always supposed to be protected, but it's like mm. a, it's kind of like uh, James Hilton's Lost Horizon book in the 30s. It's that you walk into this place and it is not a normal dimensional space. Mm. It is something different. One of my friends who's a remote viewer took a look at this and said the reason this is so spectacular is because a huge amount of Lemurian crystals were transplanted there before they were destroyed in Atlantis. And they're underground. And she actually went and drew diagrams of where they were in that region. Mm. So when I went there, I had a map of where these huge crystals were buried underground. Well, they apparently put out such a massive frequency that all the flowers growing in that area are enchanted. Mm. That's where a lot of our floral life flowers come from, from Peru in this area, which shall be unnamed. But it's it's astonishing, and that Flor de la Luna is not a very spectacular flower. Kind of looks like somebody threw a petal. It looks like somebody threw a white daisies on the ground because they don't look like they have any stem. They're growing right out of the earth. And he he just pointed to it and he said, "This is very important." But he didn't say why. <laughs> so so I prepared it because he said it was important. Then I came back and in about two weeks, I found out why, because it enables people to receive love. So blue-eyed grass, we talked about Hartman. If we had one product to take to the world, it would be Hartman, because the vast majority of people benefit from it. And that is because whether they are involved in consciousness, spirituality or not, they have damaged the heart chakra through loss of love when a person a relationship or an animal dies it leaves a literal hole in the heart and that has been we did workshops where that was seen by clairvoyants in three different continents mm. different clairvoyants saw the same thing it leaves this black hole in the heart mm. that is linked directly to loss of love and the floral life in 30 seconds to 10 minutes removes that. Hmm. It's gone. It, it, all the clairvoyants saw the same thing. They were all going like, oh my God, what's happening? So that that is Florida La Luna. Uh, and that's heartening, excuse me. False dandelion is collected on the edge of the forest of our property, as well as star spirit. Uh, heartening and blue-eyed grass uh, and blood root. Actually, five of those flowers come from the floral life forest in central Tennessee. Star Spirit, my mistakes are unforgivable. What would happen to someone if they believed that? Mm. It would not be very good. So again, Abundant Life 1. Now, then Abundant Life 2, to promote forgiveness. Well, people who have done A Course in Miracles understand how important forgiveness is. Forgiveness is huge. So there are these wonderful flowers that deal on the edges of or directly from, you know, forgiveness. Um, and you can't forgive yourself. Uh, hydrangea, I'm free from judging myself. And I'm free from judgment. And the model that I showed shows that when we've had emotional trauma and abuse, we do not feel safe. And therefore, we go into judgment on everything. We have to judge it to determine if it's safe or not. So very important to be free from judgment. Um, so, it's also would, important. Would, so would you suggest people do these one at a time? Let's say they do yeah, revival they do for a little they, while. They do, them, they do them in order. That that was the way that the program it was a five bottle program that for whatever two hundred and some dollars can can give you. I mean, I I I, I can't tell you how many. I mean, I, I I saw a lot of people that have been in therapy, psychotherapy, and I would try to tell them the cost benefits. One visit to a therapist is $125 to uh, normally now in the United States. And chances are, if it's a good therapist, they may get to discuss a little bit of why you have the problems, but it does nothing with transforming the flowers. It will, it will just help you understand why. Mm -hmm. So for two visits to a therapist, you can profoundly, profoundly change your life. 
Now, these always work better if you know what you're dealing with. So I, I never tell people to dis dismiss therapy, good therapy, when a therapist helps you understand where your problems came from. That's the benefit of therapy. Unless therapists are trained in many of the energy psychology techniques, mm. it, the old-fashioned therapy used to just be telling you what your problem was. But a lot of times the problem stayed there five years later. But you mm. knew what it was. <laughs> so, so you could so you could identify. You could say, I have this problem. But we don't want we, we don't want people to stay with the problem. We want to transform it. Right. That's so nice. abundant life too to promote forgiveness. Um Claytonia, that's the fourth floor at January February, March starts to fill on our fourth in March with Claytonia. It's beautiful. Um, each of the single remedies on the floor life site has a pretty picture. Um, let me show you. Maybe, yeah, maybe a few pictures. Now, nice. let, me, let, me, let me grab, uh, see if I can get uh, there. And that's, that's an example of this beautiful flower. Claytonia. Beautiful flower, yeah. And it, it is, I took every one of these photos, um, all of the photos on the site. Um, and, and I've described in the book why that's very special, because this, my taking of the photos is done for a per, per, period of about one hour. Before I make the essence, I identify the flower. I first find out of hundreds of thousands, uh, hundreds of flowers. <clears throat> I'll go through and evaluate many of them until the flower tells me that it's the one. Right, so there right. could be 50 or 100 or 500 claytonia flowers in a bed of flowers. But I'll go through often crawling. I'll just go quietly until one of them, that's the one. Now, what does that mean? I, I don't know. But I just, that's what I follow. Because generally, the flower will be free from deflects. It will have perfect geometry. Mm. That's one of the things. And, and, and the energy of it will be in perfect state of bloom as this one is. Um, then I get my macro limbs. And I go down into the world of the flower, and then I forget everything in the world except that flower. So I become entered into it. And when that happens, I'm going into the scale, into the higher dimensions where scalar frequencies operate. Scalar, we're, we're going to talk about, Lorenzo, we want to do a whole couple of conversations about what is scalar energy and why is it so important and why is it linked to floral life essences. Because a lot of companies are making nutritional products and they're claiming that they're filled with scalar energy. And I have issues with that because scalar energy is linked to the divine. Unless you use dark scalar energy, which is used for weapons now. But scalar energy is higher than the fourth dimension. And it's in the gods, it's in the god realm. It's in the realm above our space-time dimensions. And that's where these flowers directly link. Okay, so let's keep going and um, we're gonna we'll stop sharing and go back to uh, to this again. Okay, that's Claytonia for forgiveness and to promote forgiveness. Now, we these are very important things to do, but we've got other stuff that we should do. We're living in a world that is filled with what the um, they say in the Hispanic world of South America, mal de ojo, or evil eye, bad eye, um, the, the level of, of darkness and curse and um, psychic attack, uh, negative entities, there is a lot of that around. So I found this on many patients during a particular epoch of time. I discovered Madame Faye probably around 2006 in Jamaica or 2007. And that's a chapter in the book. My, one of my favorite chapters that I wrote is called Madame Faye. I think it's chapter eight. Please read it. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Describes how I was guided to find Madame Faye. I'm free from the influence of negative thoughts and beings. When you give that to people, it cuts. Um, when we, again, when we do the workshops with clairvoyance and they can see the entities that are attached to people, Mm. And then you give the substance and boom, they're cut away. Mm. It's really pretty amazing. So the, these all have various features of protection. Then in my more advanced flower essences, which came out years later, there's the, there's a lot more. There's a product called Clear, which is profound for protection. But anyway, this is in the Abundant Life program. 
an abundant life for. Then it's where everybody starts out. When I have people doing, they call up, they want a private consultation, which you can do by notifying us. I'll do a private consultation for people. It takes about 15 minutes, sometimes a little longer. And I figure out exactly what they particularly need. And what do they want? They want better relationships and more money. Always. That's what people call about. And they don't call and say, you know what, um, I lost someone, I know my heart is broken, or I know that I'm dysfunctional, I want to fix that. That's not what they ask for most of the time. They want better relationships and more money. So when you finally get the four products used, Revival, Abundant Life 1, 2, and 3, then you're ready for empowerment. You, I, I jokingly tell people that it's not a joke. You don't want to make somebody powerful when they're damaged, because then you get what we've got in the world today which is a bunch of psychopaths. They're rich and powerful and dangerous because they did not clear trauma. You've got to clear and you've got to enable receiving and you've got to have an open heart and then become powerful. I mean, my God, become so powerful that the earth shakes. I'd, I'd love that. I'd love to see thousands of those powerful beings walking around their light beams because they would they would stop the this craziness. They would stop the other, the other side of evil. Um, but you don't want to become powerful until you're clear. And then when you become empowered, then you can, your finances will improve. So this is very much about uh, yellow root is quite a remarkable flower for changing the ability to attract abundance. Um, when they do workshops, there's a way in energy psychology for having a person state how much money they can receive. It's very simple. They just lie down on the table and they start out with, I can receive $25,000 a year. Yes, true. I can receive 50000 Yes. I can receive 65000 No. And when you do that, and I don't talk to them, we find out that they're stuck between fifty and $65,000. They can't get past that. Because when they say, I allow myself to receive $75,000, they fail. So when you take yellow root, where you end up within four weeks is, I allow myself to receive infinite amounts of money. I allow myself to receive millions of dollars. True, 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 true. Now, does that mean that they have that the next day? No, of course not. What it means is the potential to earn has been opened. And that's all I tell people. We've yeah. opened the channel for you to earn, but you still have to use some intelligence and apply yourself. It's not going to drop out of heaven, right? But we've yeah. stopped the block. Do you have any pictures so, for yellow root? Yellow root, yes. It's a very bizarre little flower. It's really weird. Um, it's it's not, you know, beautiful and dramatically. Um, let's try and find that. Yellow root, there it is. That flower measures about a uh, little, a uh, little over a quarter of an inch in diameter. I need that. It's brown. Brown, I mean, actual brown petals are quite unusual. Yeah. I really don't know of any other flowers that have absolutely beautiful cocoa reddish brown petals. Can you see that now? No, you're not sharing screen at the moment. Uh oh, oops, I'm talking about it, but not sharing the screen. Let's let's do that. There you go. Oh, beautiful, isn't that interesting? But it's it's brown, it's absolutely that's a good photo. Looks, looks um, purplish here, but that's cool. Yeah, it, it's a brownish, it's a, a, a reddish brown, kind of a rust brown, and yellow. It's a very pretty color yellow. And they're small little flower. Nice. They look like orchids a little bit. Yeah, it's it's unusual. We're, we're taking longer, but, but the Fun and Life program deserves that explanation because it's quite remarkable. So in, in this one package, which lasts about three to five months, and it depends on how dedicated people are, they can receive a huge amount of life change in three months. All right. Yeah, buy that. And it, and, and it was specially priced. And it, 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 was, it was our gift uh, to allow people to, to have a, a, a massive amount of change. Um, Excellent. These were, the early, these were the early flowers. These were developed in the first... Eight years or nine years. That's what I like. Well, all right. So maybe you can take us back to a full screen. Yeah. Well, Brent. Uh, you want to go back to the website? No, this has or... been wonderful. You know, I wanted to talk with you, uh, you know, face to face. 
You know, I, I appreciate the, the descriptions of the Abundant Life program. I wanted to get that out. You know, we'll share that around with people. So starting with Revival and then one, two, three, and four for the Abundant Life. I'm very curious about it. I'm hoping to uh, to take the product soon enough as as you and I get to meet over the next couple of months. Before we meet, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have fun testing you, and then you're gonna see yeah. how we do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm I'm looking forward to face to face so I can share more with people. As I mentioned in our last video, I did get to try uh, healing heal and the uh, blue eyed grass. And they were fantastic and wonderful. I take them even to this very day. I took some a couple of days ago. And every time I do them, I get more information. My dreams get more vivid, more, you know, that's how I'm finding it. But, you know, my day-to-day -day life, uh, let's say epiphanies and and uh, what you would call the, the experiences that are out of the ordinary are something that happens to me on a regular basis. You, and you, you just said something and you're aware of this. And so this has meaning for you. But I always try to tell people, and, and we actually have forms at the bottom of the website under the Learning uh, Center. Mm. There are three or four forms that explain just what you were saying. You, Many people have to look for these signals and signs that mm. change is taking place. Sure. And if they're not sensitive, like what you just said, for your own observations, if they're not paying attention, they won't realize that it's the flowers that did it. Right. right. They won't realize it. They'll yeah. come back three months later. I'll see them and I'll say, well, what's different in your life? And I'll talk about these enormous, amazing, huge transformations. And I'll kind of look at them and smile. I go, sometimes, if they're not tuned in, they'll say, well, how do you know it was the flowers? Mm. And my comment to them is, well, you've been in seven or 10 years of psychotherapy and nothing changed. Mm. You've done this, that. You went and saw 45 different workshops and it didn't change. And you took the four live essences and gee, it all has changed. Now, what do mm. you think? <laughs> yeah. No, it's good to pay attention and it's good to put into action the new advice that you get as well. It's very important. To, you know, I found that you know my dreams will talk to me more when I take some of the flower essences to give me some advice. And then I'll go out in my, you know, waking days and put my new, uh, the new information I have about myself into my relationships, into my desires for more abundance, more life, a bit better health. And, uh, you know, again, it doesn't just happen, I guess. I mean, that, you get that, that, that's, yeah. That's a, that's a, yeah, that's a very important point. You're co-creating. You're right. Co-creating and then bringing it into the material realm. Yeah, it's very important. Right, it's right. Very, yeah, co-creating. Well, Brent, this has been amazing. I'll keep this as a shorter video for, for our people. I'm happy to do another one once you know you're more relaxed very soon. We talked about that. We'll bring Campbell on for the next one. Or I'll attach this lovely video to the end of the next one we do with Campbell. Maybe we can do a short and then I'll put them together for people because I would love to get this information out. Revive all, abundant life. I can't wait to try. I'm so happy that Brent is bringing this to our viewers and all the other viewers that are on Campbell's channels and further afield as they come out. And if anybody has any questions or suggestions, anything for myself or Brent, please leave the questions below. Send me an email, You know, like and subscribe. And Brent, is there anything you'd like to leave our viewers with? on this lovely chat on co-creating your abundant life. Well, I think it, I think it's just lovely. Um, um, I would say try to get familiar with the floralive.com site because at the bottom of it, there are some very good resources and in the blog area, which I've not started to contribute uh, regularly. I will in the next few weeks, I'll probably get into that, but I chose about seven archived blogs. They were stuff that I wrote a long time ago. There's a lot of information in those archive blogs. So I'd recommend that. Too. All right. Yeah, yeah. We'll leave all the links below. Brent, thank you so much. It's uh, It's been, you know, a bumpy road to get to this chat. I'm happy we're here chatting. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to doing more. Everything in its own time, a flower grows as it helps. And so this is a beautiful relationship uh, blossoming for us. And I thank everyone for being here. And Brent, thank you for all the work you've done over the last many, many years. I appreciate you uh, staying with it through all the challenges you've uh, you've mentioned to me off camera so that we can get all these beautiful things out to everyone who deserves to have an abundant life. Thank you. My pleasure. Campbell and Lorenzo here. We are both going to be in Florida in October running a three-day event. October 6th, 7th, and 8th, 9 to 5, three fun-filled days. How you became who you are, where you are right now, what your future can be, Four beautiful, wonderful topics, intuition, imagination, discipline, and power. We're going to be looking at who you are, why you are where you are, why you came to the event, you know, what's going on inside you, all of the lovely, horrible, and beautiful things we all have as beings that have been alive on this planet. Because without knowing where you are, you can't really know where to go. 
for the third day, the transformation of who you may like to come, the butterfly, the chrysalis, you know, we're calling it practical evolution for life. Who is it you want to be? What do you want to do? What legacy do you want to leave? We're going to be getting into vision statements and legacy statements. You know, we've all, we're all here for a reason. You are here for a reason. You have something to do. You know it. So we're going to pull that out and get a statement so we can start moving forward. It's more of an energetic legacy. If we're immortal, and I think we are, and we go on forever, even when the immortal coil is gone, maybe you make a vibration, an echo that can go out into infinity. So practical evolution, we're going to start at the beginning. Who are you? Why are you that way? How are you living? How are these thoughts restricting you? How to get rid of them? And then how to walk into that life that you want to be. So it is a practical event. There will definitely be practical activities. There'll be fun. There'll be Q&A, a few tears, no doubt. But at the end, lots of happy people who have direction, know where they're going and know how to get there. So held in beautiful, warm Florida on a beautiful piece of land, surrounded by nature. So come and join us. There are limited tickets, all the links below, and we would love to see you there for a life-changing three days. I love you all very much. I can't express enough how delighted I am and how privileged I feel to be able to do this with Campbell and you in this lovely land that we get to share together. Awesome. We'll see you in Florida, guys. It made me lie, lie to my heart. No one tells me where I should start. Freedom